Its intensity may be more than some wish to be exposed to. You're watching Fear Fanatics. Scary videos from the web. Leave a comment for more videos like this one. Number 5. Urbex Hill is exploring an abandoned Masonic temple in Cleveland, Ohio. I've watched this video a bunch of times and it's extremely creepy. You'll see what I mean. I'll go upstairs first. It's unexplainable and very scary, especially since he's alone in this derelict building that's been abandoned since 1984. It's literally just mush. to the roof, but obviously I'm not about to get up there. What the hell is that? What the fuck? Something touched me. I swear to God. I swear to God. It felt like something just touched my back. I don't know if it was my book bag flopped on my back or what. That scared the fuck out of me. I swear to God. There's no water drips. Yo, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. Herbix Hill is already experiencing strange feelings of being touched, but he continues on. See if you can spot the figure behind the door. Keep in mind while you're watching this, there's no way out of the room. The camera never cuts away, and whatever is in there is now gone. Before I go down, I'm gonna go back up there and check that room. I just need to find out how that could have happened. At the time, he doesn't seem to see the figure, just the door slam. But he goes back to see how the door closed on its own and finds the door closed again. See, this is getting 
creepy, man. For real. He didn't realize he had captured this until he got home. Explain to me in the comments what you think. Who do you think it was? And visit Urbex Hill's YouTube page for more urban exploration videos. Jay is a YouTuber and a paranormal investigator. His YouTube page is called The Journey is the Destination. Tonight he's exploring an abandoned property in Florida where a double murder supposedly took place. Let's go ahead and get into it, my friends. Jay's kind of jumpy already as he's out in the overgrowth and an animal runs by. Oh. Damn. But he continues on and begins his investigation Ooh. alone. So that happened. Yeah, so you can see there's like, I think that's a truck without the front end on it. Sorry if the camera's shaking. I just realized I was shaking a little bit. Let's listen to some of the responses Jay's getting. I was right about here when I got that EVP last time. Are there any spirits in here that want to make themselves known? Are you from here? I am from here. Are you from here? I'm doing well, how are you? My name is Jay, do you remember me from the last time I was here? Is that you knocking? There's a lot of damage in here. I'm not trying to do any. Mother. Your mother? Did she die here? Strangled. Strangled? What is the date? It is September of 2022. How long ago did this happen? Jin. Jin? Jin like demon or Jin like drink gin? Will you tell me your name? Please? 
murdered. Murdered? Murdered? Strangled? I told you guys. Hello? Listen. What am I listening for? This is where you talked to me last time. Were they murdered in here? Or in the big house? Demon child. Demon child? What the... F what the freak? What the freak? I don't think I've ever gotten that. I didn't even know that was in here. I just got goosebumps from head to toe. What do you mean, demon child? Jay's not too happy about the demon child response. Look at this. It's 85 degrees out right now. I, there's no way I, my arm here should be standing up like that. Was there a child murdered here? Drowned. Drowned here? He's starting to feel uneasy and begins to hear knocking in sets of three. Oh, I don't like this at all, man. I keep hearing three knocks in series coming from right here. Push. Push? You're gonna try to push me? I don't know that I've gotten this many just back to back to back to back responses ever. I do not like the demon child response, especially with murdered, strangled. This place just feels like extra off tonight. I don't know. Maybe it's the full moon. That was an owl. Then he heads up to the main house to check it out. But what he hears sends him running. Hello, hello. Is it... Hello? Nope. 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 Not happening. Not happening. <laughs> Walking up to a house and hearing three knocks. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it tonight. I'll have to come back again another night. I know there's nothing that would be making that noise except for a demon. That's all I heard in my head was three knocks, demon, get the hell away from here because there was no knocks before I asked if I could come in. Number three. In this video, YouTuber Connor from The Explorer Returns shows us why exploring alone can be dangerous to your health. At 1 a.m., all alone and finds himself trapped as squatters come back and he has to run for the only exit. I'm gonna let the video from here do the talking and uh, you'll see just how dodgy this was. Oh my god. The smell in this room is disgusting. This place is a shithole, man. Oh shit, the trees come through the window. That tree looks like a second escape route to me. The trees actually come through the window. I would definitely try to shimmy down that tree trunk to escape if I had to. There's somebody. What is that noise? 
these people here. Connor hears voices and people start coming closer. He runs to the back of the building to hide. Then he takes off for the exit. Same night that I went to this location. Someone set the building on fire and the place is now burnt to the ground. Luckily you got out before the fire. Check out his other videos at The Explorer Returns. In this video, four friends check out an abandoned hospital on YouTube channel, Exploring with Tom. But the hospital isn't exactly abandoned, as you'll soon see. So guys, we're going to go in here, we're going to start, sit back, relax, go for a drink, got some popcorn, sit back, relax, and let's go. Let's go. Tom is obviously feeling a bit uneasy about this place. He's already scared about going in. So Tom, how are you feeling then about tonight? Something different, something else? You scared? For once, you're scared. I can tell, aren't you? You're scared, aren't you? <laughs> By now, we're literally heading, so we've just ended like a little ritual, so we'll go we're heading this way now, let's see what we can get. Hello, anyone in here? Anyone here? Can you make a noise for me, please? Which, which way are we going? Uh, uh, straight on to him, I reckon. What's that? that? What? Can you do that again for us, please? The guys began to hear noises and they're all a little bit jumpy. Hello? Did you hear that? Oh, Which? Did you not hear that? Can you do that again for us, please? Can you make a noise again, but as loud as you can, please? Man, this is so f I'll be loud. If, if something's here, it's gotta be loud than that, surely. Hello? Whistling? That Dad whistling? I'm going home. Tom, get your EMF ring back. I'll be on the camera. Get the EMF ring back. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. I'm getting the EMF out. Don't f***ing run. Do your job. Maybe that was a warning to get out now. Go up on this part, let's investigate more, see what we can get. Right, man. Yo, guys, what? Turn your lights off, turn your lights off. Holy sh. Yo, what the f? Someone's here, someone's here. They realize they aren't alone. Someone's here. Look at the skirt. What? Someone's here. What? You got the back of the camera just in case. Why? But they're on the top floor, and that's a long run back to the exit. Someone there? Someone there? Just, I, see what it is. It might be, he might need help. Sure. Come on, 
Hello? Who? Hello? What? Go! 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 Shit! 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 Everyone okay? Everyone okay? Keep calm! Keep calm! Keep calm! Now they're being chased out of the hospital by a man with a flashlight. Oh, oh, okay. Go, go, go. Help, 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 help. Help. Go. go. Which way? Ma what are you up? What are you up? Man! What the f? Don't. What are you up? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Stop the door. What are you up? What are you up? He's coming. Go. Get back to the car. Get back to the car. Get off me, calm down, we just stay f***ing calm. What do you want? I back to the car, back in the car. Who do you? Who Go, 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 go. Lock the doors. Nah, wait, 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 wait. What? Lock the doors. Man, we can't nice. wait. Go, go, Lock go. the f***ing doors. Stay, stay, stay. What the f***? He's, he's, he's right there. He's right there. What the f***? <laughs> We're not sure what happened to Tom and his buddies, but thanks for the video, boys. <laughs> this video is a little bit different from ones I normally do, but it's very creepy. Phil from YouTube channel Hike Slam is going hiking on the Appalachian Trail and is planning to do an overnight solo camp until he runs into cryptic messages from the Wolfman of Helltown. And you'll see what I mean. Hi, Phil here from Hike Slam. Today I'm going to hike into the woods a little bit here in Virginia and do an overnight. It's the day before Thanksgiving. It's supposed to be cold tonight, but um, I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be a lot of fun. Fortunately for Phil, only 11 people have been killed on the AT since 1974, which are pretty good odds, right, Phil? So the hike's been awesome so far. I mean, I've only been out for about a half hour. River behind me, really pretty day. Um, as I was walking up, I saw some trash in the trail, and I came across this. So some Bud Light cans, plastic bat, some writing on some of this garbage. This one. Hangman is coming down from the gallows. Uh, song lyrics. Other weird things. Well, hopefully I don't get murdered out here. That would totally ruin my day. Well, let's keep going. I'm about halfway to the campsite and I just entered the wilderness. Sun is just starting to fall behind the hills. So pretty shortly, I'll be at the uh, shelter in the campsite. As if those messages scribbled on trash with a Sharpie wasn't enough, Phil hikes into the wilderness only to find more strange evidence of the Wolfman of Helltown. The weirdness continues. The Wolfman, AKA Woody, is a man who tags random trash and shelter logs with a Sharpie. He's been known to hide in the bushes as hikers pass by, according to a Reddit post. And there's a dead duck here. Very long note. <sighs> okay, I'm almost at the shelter, which is gonna be my camp spot for the night. Uh, that scene back there really freaked me out though. <sighs> Sun's going down. I'm gonna get to the shelter, reassess the situation, and see what I think about this whole deal. Okay, well that was really weird. So um, as I was hiking toward the shelter, still considering what I was gonna do for the night, uh, these two women were hiking in the opposite direction. They had a little dog with them. 
They asked if I had seen the guy who was leaving the notes. I said he has a campsite down by the river because I could hear the fire going. I could see where his tarp was set up. He was actually just sitting on a rock down there. They were shocked. I was still considering camping out there, but I decided that um, I didn't really feel like it. And plus they said that they were kind of freaked out and asked if I would go with them and walk past his campsite um, so they could get back to their car. So I did, um, and then when I got back to my truck, I went over to the other side of the road, drove up uh, like a forest service road, and I'm actually on the Appalachian Trail, just going the opposite direction. So instead of going north, no, instead of going south, now I'm going north, but I'm just gonna find the closest camp spot to where I'm at because the sun is going down and set up camp and yeah, settle in for the night. All right, let's get going. All right, so I'm on the Appalachian Trail just in a different part headed the opposite direction so there's John's hollow shelter in point six that looks like where I'll probably end up for the night all right there's the sign for the shelter you can see it you can see it down there right through the trees all right approaching the shelter here there's definitely nobody here I think there's a knit cap there. Pretty clean. Shelter log. Oh, I feel way, way better about this than the other one. This feels way more secluded up here. Very cool. Then up there you got the privy. Hopefully I don't have to use it. Okay, time for me to get settled in. What a day so far. My sleeping pad is inflated and holding air. Got my sleeping bag in here. I'm gonna just put the stuff sack for the sleeping bag down there. And uh, yeah, on to the next thing. All right, a little more light over here. It's starting to get dark out, so I figured I'd eat at the picnic table here so I'm just gonna enjoy some of this maker's mark hang out by the fire for a few minutes um, yeah just kind of enjoy the peace and quiet and reflect on the day a little emergency press conference so I thought it would be a fun little thing to look at the John's Hollow shelter log that's where I'm staying John's Hollow shelter and um, just check out trail names and what people's experiences were on the trail. Um, and it was. It was fun at first. Um, but man, once I came across that guy's writing, it was so weird. It was like, I felt like I was, I don't know, the plot continues or something. You open it up and it's like, that writing looks familiar. Oh my gosh, it's the same writing as that guy that's three miles away that I hiked this far away to get away from the dude. And now, um, yeah. And I guess he was just here a few days ago, uh, ranting. It's like music lyrics and political stuff and, um, you know, talking about people leaving trash and just weird rants and Bible quotes. And it's just like all over the place. Kind of sketchy, kind of weird. Um, it's just really weird to have that feeling of like relaxation, like I'm away, I'm here, I'm hanging out in the woods by myself. And then to read that, it's just kind of like, oh, that's a little odd. Um, at least he is, he seemed to be settled down for the night in his weird camp spot there by the river. Um, so I feel like he's not going to come up here. <laughs> Hopefully. In my tent now, fire's been put out, all my gear is in here. Um, I'm a little on edge. I keep watching the hill behind the shelter. Definite Blair Witch vibes. To see if I see a headlamp coming down there. Um, the hike in here, there was nobody. There's no cars along the side of that forest service road except mine um it was super quiet here i haven't heard any sign of a person at all i hear animals up in the woods but um yeah i don't know uh, i kept my, i still have my shoes on <laughs> i guess in case i have to run <laughs> all right so um i lied down for couple hours um, nodded off to sleep 
just on top of my sleeping bag. <sighs> but man, every crack and crunch I hear outside of an animal walking by or a branch breaking, I don't know, it's just like, it's freaking me out. Um, so I'm gonna try to get some more sleep here. And um, yeah, hopefully I just kind of pass out. There's really nothing to be worried about. It's just like, it's just a weird night, you know? Okay, I'm out on the trail. Um, it's the middle of the night. Uh, I was down in my tent, not asleep, kind of just like lying there staring at the tent walls, listening to all the sounds, and then I heard somebody down by the shelter. So <laughs> at first I wanted to convince myself it wasn't what I thought I heard, uh, but it definitely was somebody down there. Um, so I didn't even wait to see or go down to see who it was, see if it was like a bunch of teenage girls or something. I don't know. I was just like, I am getting out of here. So I uh, packed up all my stuff and I packed it up very quickly. I don't think I left anything behind. Um, and I just walked past. As I walked past, I did look. It did look like a single guy um, hanging out in the shelter. He had a headlamp on. Um, all I could really see was the light from the headlamp. So I could have been wrong. Um, but man, it was We're glad Phil made it off the trail alive and in one piece. But now I think what are some of your scary camping stories? Leave me a comment. I'm just gonna get out of here and go home. Please help the channel grow by subscribing. You can also be a huge help by liking the video and commenting. If you like these videos, visit our channel to browse other content and hit the notification bell to get notified every week when we upload a new video. Until next time, sweet dreams and happy nightmares.